Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 14th of January. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather stays mild and unsettled tomorrow. A little drier air Thursday, then much colder next week. That's really the big headline. Let's talk about this changing pattern. Today, though, we still have a broad southwest flow aloft and a very moist air mass. You see clouds over much of Alabama, some deeper convection down across the southeastern counties of the state. That was the radar at 236, heavier storms. Down around places like Luverne, Troy, Eufaula, and southeast Alabama, just a big batch of rain north of there, south of Interstate 20. We know Jackson, Mississippi's had some pretty serious flooding problems today west of here. We're in the 60s, Birmingham 64. Warmer down to the south. Look at Mobile, 78 on this January day. And up north, though, it is so cold, way below zero, and some of that air is going to break away, and we'll feel some of that next week, so get ready. There's the watch warning map. We've got scattered winter weather issues up north and back in the northwest. Down here, flood watches for parts of central Alabama, north Georgia, central Mississippi. That's valid through tomorrow morning. We also note there's a marginal risk of severe storms across parts of the deep south through tonight. In Alabama, that's uh, basically over the central and southern part of the state. And this is a low-end threat. There could be a few storms there with gusty winds through tonight. And then tomorrow... A marginal risk, level one out of five, low-end threat for the Tennessee Valley. And like today, maybe a few storms with gusty winds and small hail, but there's no major threat of severe weather. Day three, Thursday, no severe storms expected across the country. Rain for the next seven days. Southeast is relatively wet. Rain amounts about one inch. We'll see some rain at times tomorrow. But next week is looking pretty dry and awfully cold. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 3. Upper high over the Gulf, trough back in the northwest. And, again, a mild day with showers and thunderstorms. Not all day, probably not quite as wet as today. And a pretty good chance we'll see low 70s. In fact, the air should be fairly unstable. That's the instability. So, could be a few strong storms about, but, again, the dynamic forcing not strong at all. This is Thursday. Cooler air noses in here. Uh, we'll see a high closer to 60, the sky partly sunny, and most of the state dry. Maybe some rain near the Gulf Coast. This is Friday. Moisture comes back. We'll mention a chance of showers, but nothing too widespread. Friday afternoon, the high should be close to 60. Nasty-looking icing for parts of Missouri and Iowa. Snow from Minneapolis-St. Paul. And then on Saturday, that surface low moves over to near Detroit. Snow moving into the northeast United States, and we'll have a trailing front down through here with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Uh, this will not be like this past Saturday. There might be a strong storm, but you can see the instability values are marginal, and again, the dynamic forcing not all that strong. And then Sunday will be dry and colder. We could be in the 40s all day. Uh, the sky becoming mostly sunny. Monday, we start the day down in the 20s, the high only in the low 40s for many spots, that's going to feel radically different from this. And then this is a week from today, that deep trough on the East Coast and a, a really cold air mass. Uh, Tuesday morning, we could see some teens and the high only in the 30s in spots over the northern part of the state. Yikes. Now, to the west, yeah, our friends in Texas, if you're in Dallas or Wichita Falls, Lubbock, Amarillo, you're thinking, ooh, snow, but don't get too excited because, boom, it's gone on the European which tends to be a bit more accurate in the medium range. It's just cold down here. Let's go out 10 days. Friday of next week, the 24th, little trough to the west. That looks like there could be some rain in the Gulf, but basically cold and dry for us. Rain off the European Ensemble, the mean about 3 inches. The numbers, this is off the national blend of models, and it's got us down with a high of 43 on Tuesday, but the deterministic Europeans got a high of 36 on Tuesday with a low of 23, 21 Wednesday morning. So, again, that's going to be a slap in the face. Just get ready. It's going to turn cold next week. These are the temperature anomalies coming from the Climate Prediction Center January 22nd through the 28th. And you can see much below average down here across the deep south. Here comes winter. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.